While diving in an underwater cave in the jungles of Venezuela, Gustavo Badillo became lost somewhere deep below the surface. As soon as it was light the next morning, his friends drove to the nearest town and called everyone they could think of for help, including the owner of the dive shop where Gustavo worked. Hello. I had Hello, some experience yes. in cave diving, but I've never done a rescue. I just wasn't trained to do it. So right away, I called a friend of ours in Florida. Oh. I knew that if anybody was the person to do it, it was Steve. Steve Gerard is one of the most experienced cave divers in the United oh. States. This is Vivian Triago calling from Caracas, Venezuela. We had a she wanted me to come down uh, immediately to help find him. I can come down if you want me to. I had no idea where in Venezuela that it was located. Um, there's a lot involved in getting ready to go down to, uh, to where you are. A friend of Gustavo's, Leo Caligaro, who had done some cave diving, heard of the accident and flew in to make a rescue attempt of his own. When I saw him, I hugged Leo and started crying because for me it was my last hope. He was a friend, but he was also a human being. I had to do something for him. By this time, it had been more than 24 hours since Gustavo first entered the cave. By and by, they came back out. They said they cannot enter. They didn't have the right equipment, and they didn't want to make the same mistake. When I came out, everyone was upset. Everyone. I told Maria Elena it's best if you leave, because tomorrow when they come, they may pull out a corpse. So I took all Gustavo's belongings. I left his jacket, because it's going to be very cold, and his chocolate bar. He always has one after he dies. I said, this is it. No, it's over. It's very rare to find anyone alive in a cave. We've had over 325 fatalities in Florida alone. Steve had convinced his friend, John Orlowski, a specialist in diving river caves like Acarite, to go with him to South America. Well, if he's been in 50 degree water for that length of time, you have to realize he's hypothermic and probably dead. In my mind, I was going to Venezuela do a body recovery. The trip from Florida was 1,500 miles by air and land. By the time Steve and John arrived at the cave, it was 7 o'clock on the morning of the third day. My compañeros y yo, por supuesto, my friends and I, we moved as fast as possible to help them get the equipment down. We didn't know whether to cry or laugh or what, because we felt that salvation had come. Good luck, guys. Thank you, guys. Good luck for the cars. Thank you. Hopefully we'll find some. The one last thing I said to the crowd was, well, let's hope for a happy ending. Okay. But now we're into almost 36 hours that the man's missing. We thought that it was completely unrealistic that he would be alive. I just was convinced this is ludicrous. I mean, who in their right mind would want to die in this type of cave? You couldn't see anything. We could have been inches away. We could have passed the body six times and never even seen it. Steve said at that point, I'm going to just sit here for about two hours and go out and tell him we can't find him. Because we're not going to find him in this. But it was like, okay. 
We're here. We have a job to do. Let's get it done and get out of here. I felt like I had made a left-hand turn. You can't see, so you know, it's just a feeling you have. And I saw a light flash. And I went, oh, you just swim around in a circle, and you're coming right back up on Steve. So I popped my head up, and I said, yeah, Steve, what? All I see is this person stumbling towards me. Okay. You understand English? Yeah. At that point, the victim had already grabbed me and was hugging me. Okay. He was realizing that this was not a dream. <laughs> we started doing a lot of high-fiving, and it was like, I can't believe it. <sighs> He's alive. One of them came out. I don't remember who it was. I let out a scream that was heard, I'm sure, several kilometers away. I felt at that moment so incredibly happy. Super feliz. I'll never forget that moment long. It was just, it was like from a movie. Seeing that. Apparently, Gustavo had gotten tangled in the guide rope and became disoriented while trying to free himself. I kept swimming through different passages. I was thinking, why is this happening to me? My legs. It was difficult to swim because they would fall asleep from the cold. What I wanted was to get out of the water, but the walls wouldn't let me. Time passed, I'm not sure how much. I practically couldn't feel my body. I saw the water, how it turned white. I thought, the angels have come for me. And I said, oh my God, heaven is English and the angels are English. Gustavo and Eduardo did a foolish thing. They went to this cave without having the right equipment or, or really knowing to, how to do it correctly. In this particular case, they were extremely lucky. Gustavo Badillo was treated for exposure and dehydration and released from the hospital that same day. One year later, he and Maria Elena were married. I have problems with Maria Elena because she suffered a lot with this and she's very much afraid of all my expeditions. Gustavo likes to go to the mountains, to the beach, motorcycle rides, Many places that I've never been, because I've been a very city-type person. But I love him a lot. He loves my son. And as long as I can and God gives us life, I hope we'll be together. It's Gustavo! Hey. Gustavo plans to return one day to explore the mysteries of Acarida, but only after becoming certified in cave diving. Anyone that wants to go there, we have to tell him how dangerous that adventure could be. I think there is doses of inexperience in all this. It's good to be brave, but it's good to to think about what you're doing. Steve and John. That Steve and John would come down from the United States and want to rescue me without even knowing me. I think that that's a true miracle. Thank God the angels came and they saved me. Next. Christian Daniel, we all were frightened because we couldn't help him. Europe was already frozen to the ice. 